watching RDTV and my name is Samuel Quist. We are actually in the University of Education uh, and we are having a documentary about the blind. And we have our gentleman here who actually is a victim of that. And we want to find more about how these people actually live, the blind. I'm told that they are not called the blind, they are called physically impaired, uh, visually impaired, right? Okay, so we want to know how they live because they do have friends, they cook, they bath, they learn, and uh, it baffles us how these people live. So we have uh, a gentleman here who is a victim and we want to find more about his way of life on campus. Mr. Man, <laughs> uh, what is your name? My name is um, Ebenezer already, popularly known as Bija. Bija. Yeah. And uh, that's what everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, please, uh, which department are you? Yeah, special education department. Special education. Yeah. Uh, which uh, area uh, to be specific? EV, EV, that is education for visual impairment. Okay, okay. So, uh, which level are you? Level 200. 200? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, with your stay, on campus, like with this kind of situation, uh, how do you combine this situation and with your education together? Um, <coughs> as normal life, when you are starting, when you are starting everything at fresh, you find it difficult. But as time goes on, you become familiar with everything. When I came first, I personally was thinking of how I'll be able to get access or know much as know much about the environment. So I was much disappointed. But as time went on, uh, I'm now familiar with the environment from here to faculty. You see, those days too, I, I used to take cars from here to faculty, which was costing me much. But for now, I can walk, I can walk from here faculty and back to it your question your second question regarding my academics you see we did but we don't in university we don't learn individually so we have to join a compatible study group which will benefit you academically so I have seen friends who have been coming to me to you know have studies okay okay so uh, I would like to ask, uh, with your blindness, was it from birth or maybe through accident or where? Mm, somehow. Uh, okay, I, I somehow I may say yes, somehow no. The reason why I'm saying yes is like we have three categories, like prenatal, we have three factors that cause or that lead to blindness. That's prenatal factors, perinatal factors, and postnatal factors. So mine was, my links to um, prenatal, um, perinatal factors. That's the, the moment immediately I was born, then I had the challenge. Okay, so can you tell the exact cause of the, this perinatal uh, Perinatal, it could be like birth, um, birth injuries. I mean, birth injuries, and you see, sometimes you, you might you can fall from the bed to the hospital bed and other stuff. Yeah, so these are the factors. But I, I cannot tell the exact thing that led to my blindness. Okay, okay. Uh, sometimes I really want to find out more about the way you see. I know that you don't have eyes to see, but what do you use to see? Is it the brain? Is it your your fingers? Is it how how are you, how are you able to see? See, in this world, everything is about determination and your self-esteem. How you position yourself is how you are going to cope with the life. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we have others who cannot move from here to the bathhouse. And others who can 
Judy, other one like who can go to the bathhouse as you saw me doing. Mm. So it's about having the confidence that with God all things are possible. So like having the confidence that you can do everything on yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's about confidence. Okay. And high self esteem. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, there's this thing too about uh, that if any physically impaired uh you know like any anybody who is uh physically yes or any any part of the body is uh is having a problem that strength moves to the other senses that's what they say I, uh, how true is it this statement i, I see it to be uh, i mean a fallacious statement or a baseless statement because we have as i said earlier on we have others who cannot do anything on their own mm -hmm. unless they are being assisted by someone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very and good. Early, early intervention also comes in, you mm -hmm. see. Okay. Okay. Then with, uh, do you see any color? Okay. Do you see any color? Nah. You don't see anything? Yeah. So, right now, like, what do you see? I don't see anything like I'm, I, I don't feel like I'm in total darkness or whatever like I don't feel anything I just feel like how you feel okay so uh, there I uh, did a little uh, research about this whole thing so we have fathers who only see some kind of sparkle no, no, no. we have I mean we shall impair, impairment is in classes or okay. um, various groups mm -hmm. We have total like to totally blind, like those who cannot see at all, like like mine, okay. and those who have a residual vision as in partially sighted, and those who have specific or functional v vision, as in they use their vision for specific thing. Others like for instance only reading, but they cannot walk. Others too can walk, but they cannot read. Others too can use their light, their vision little vision to identify colors only okay. yeah, so that's how it is so how do you find your way to uh, to campus or to class because you said earlier on that uh, you do pick car from here to faculty at first but now you you found out that like it was really draining you in terms of money so uh, how are you able to know your way from here to campus yeah as most of the visually impaired students are very sharp with respect to identification of location of places. So, for instance, when I came new, I was moving with the seeing colleagues because lectures were not all that effective by, by then. So, like, I was just calculating the junctions. When you get to first junction, they will just tell you this first junction, second junction. So, when you get to your when you get to the third junction, you have to branch to your right, your left hand side, then you go four straight, you hear noise, then you branch your right hand side, left hand side. So yeah, that's that. So you said you use sound in locating certain places. Yeah. So assume you know you go there and you reach and that sound is not there anymore. How will you able to yeah, we use, we have a, a cane called mobility cane, that's popular known as white cane, which most of the blind students use. So we use it to just touch the wall. You see, on your way to faculty, there's a, a, a wall on your left hand side. Yes. So you use that cane to just touch the wall. So the moment it ends, you know, you have to also what, branch. Wow. Uh, a church. A church. Mm -hmm. Do you guys? Uh, how do you? Apart from, okay. Uh, how do you? How do you worship God? Uh, maybe singing. I know that some of the churches. Which church do you go? Uh, do you go? So I used to attend Presby, but quite of for quite a few years, I haven't been able to attend it. Okay. Due to school and other thing, other things. Okay. So I know that Presbyterian, they normally use hymns. 
Uh, are you provided with Brio him him now there or? No, no, no. You just have to capture everything in mind. Wow, he we do about four thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you good at, apart from certain things? Uh, and what are you good at? <laughs> I haven't recognized. Like I haven't been able to detect that. Just I'm just focusing on one one side. That's my academics. Uh, do you think? <laughs> Not really. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I uh, is is she also visually impaired? Oh no. Okay. I wish I would ask the name, but it's not necessary. Oh, she's Ruda, Ruda, yeah. Wow. So that the family knows about her. Oh yeah. So I hope very soon you guys will be getting married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so have you gone for the list? I'm um, yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear, I hear, I hear. One thing about we the visually impaired is like the moment someone comes into contact with us and the person leaves, we just ask someone to just describe the person for us. So with that information, we anytime we are talking about a person we can base on what someone described to us to also say something about the person <laughs> dreams where do you actually want to work uh, I just want to establish my own school yeah so that's like inclusive school a school that will accommodate those who are disabled and those who are not disabled so I've started saving towards it very good very good so are you going to start the moment is uh, you complete or you work small before then after my national national service uh, Compose you so after my national service, I think I'll start working towards it. So, your national service, where do you dream of? Oh, my formal school. Formal school? Yeah, that's Ukwaf, my senior high school. Uh, okay. Uh, where is it? It's in the eastern region, Ekopon. Ekopon, Ekopon. Ah, yeah, 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 I know there. I know there. It's on the roadside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know there. Okay. In your, your challenge, since you came here, what is it that you you found very difficult. difficult? Most of the lecturers, they are aware that we, the visual impairs, we, we don't see. But yet, they sell print books for us. And at the end of the day, they will ask you to just go and tell someone to read it, read it for you. And they will say if you don't buy the book too, you will not get, you will not pass their paper. And they use that statement to fighting most of my friends actually don't know what to say anymore i've really heard lots of things i can say i was ignorant about so many things and today my eyes are really open at first i was blind thank you mr beneza thank you
name is Caleb Tetenkon. He's my friend. We've been friends for about two years now. Well, we've been friends since two years, so I can say he's more than a friend. He's like a brother to me now. People with such disabilities, we normally see them to be yes, not part of being us, but he being the way he is, he showed much courage and much enthusiasm just as a normal person. Despite not having eyes to see, he showed even much more courage than we do who sometimes have eyes and the way we behave. So I got to like him a lot from that aspect. To, at times, due to certain places, he can't go by himself. I help him to go to such places. Example would be with faculty, for instance, for his where he registers his course and where he also goes for some resource persons to help him out with a few things. The relationship with me and the family is very good. Especially the auntie, she treats me more like a son. The grandmother as well. She just, and above all, she has one grandmother who is also in abroad. She takes care of uh, him and because I became friends with him, she also shows such love and such kindness to me. So with her family, everything is very good. One thing I've learned from him the most is, despite your disability or despite what you may be going through, it still doesn't stop you from what you want to achieve. Because he's one guy who's very brilliant, that I would say. And despite having his illness, he doesn't let that put him back. He does everything like a normal person. And it stands to show that no matter what you are going through or no matter what kind of problem you have, don't let it be a barrier to what you want to do. So that's one thing I've learned that no matter what is going on with you, you can still make it. Thank you.